What's poppin' YouTube? It's Chuka the Barber. I'm here with a fresh new video. We're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna drape my man up. Uh, you can see his before shot, uh, curly hair. Uh, cuts his own hair, hasn't got a cut in the barbershop for years. So I'm gonna take care of my man. This is my first time cutting him, so uh, I'm gonna give him that royal treatment. You know, I'm gonna shampoo and condition his hair with our Pro Rich Collection shampoo and conditioner. Uh, this is gonna just, you know, prep my canvas, get it ready, get his hair nice, soft, and clean. All right, a um, little bit of blow drying, dry it out. And uh, today I'm using the Andis Masters. I told you I was I was going back to my Masters, so I ordered a new pair. I got this new pair here, so we rocking with this. So first thing I'm gonna start off with is Clipper Over Comb. I'm gonna just debulk the whole his whole head, um, especially mainly around the areas where I'm, I plan on tapering and fading. So um, just doing the Clipper Over Comb technique making sure that I angle the comb out as I remove the hair. And uh, yeah, this is a quick, easy way just to debulk hair. Then the trimmers I'm using are the Andes T outliners. And uh, I'm gonna start my blend, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just skin them out right here at the bottom. I'm not sure how high I wanna take the taper yet. This is my Like I said, this is my first time cutting them. So, you know, I'm gonna make sure I put that uh, initial lineup in, right? So I could guide my fade, guide my taper. And I'm gonna start blending from there, but I think he'll look good with more of like a high mid type of fade. Um, you can see I, I lighten, I, I remove the thickness of the uh, close to the crown area, but then it drops in the back. So I'm gonna take this up, you know, kind of high, but not too high. Detail that taper. Working out that dark spot. He has a little, you know, uh, a patch, a little, little light spot right there. So, want to figure out a way to blend that out so it doesn't really stand out as much. So, uh, we're going to take it up just a little bit more. Making sure not to go too high. But keeping that nice transition from the blend to the crown area. Now, I'm going to throw on a, this is probably like a one and a half guard. And I'm going to trim the front hairline area. He, he doesn't even line up himself. So we're going to hook him up with a fresh lineup. Combing down the hair using this comb down technique to trim and lay down the front hairline area. Dust him off. Now I'm going to use the enhanced hold spray. We're going to spray that across the hairline. Let that dry out, blow dry it a little bit. Now we're really going to do, you know, the line up the way you know, I would want to do it with the actual taper. Um, so we gonna hit that side. A little clipper over comb, a little detail work. Now we're gonna blend the other side. I'm gonna trim it out a little bit, remove the bulk, and then same thing, do my same blending technique. I start with the lever closed, then I open it as I gradually take my blend up, making sure that the bottom is real tight. And then when I throw on the guard, I'm, I start with the lever open and then I blend down from there, blending that into the bulk. And then I'll do the same thing with a, with the next guard. So I'll throw on a one and a half or actually I, that was a one, um, which is a one eighth. And I'll start with the lever open and then blend my way down. Making sure I match the other side. That's why I turn them around. I want to make sure I can see in the mirror and I'm matching the other side as close as possible. A little detail work with the taper. Clipper over comb. And now we're going to trim up the back a little bit, remove some of the hair. The prep work is so important because you got this, you create the silhouette, you know, and then you know what to blend into. And also putting an initial lineup in there before you do the blend also helps with that whole silhouette and the look because you know what you're blending into and you know how high you're taking it or how low you're keeping it. So that's one of the techniques I always like to use, especially when I'm cutting somebody for the first time and there is no previous like outline of a cut, then, you know, I'm taking these steps. Now we're gonna blend out the back taper. Same technique that I use on the sides. It's just applied to the back, lever closed, start blending my way up, making these small adjustments, keeping my blend real tight. 
clipper over comb to free up some space to blend. You always want to keep the hair low enough to like see the blend happening. You don't want the hair to be too long. So you always want to free up space if the hair gets kind of long as you're working up the blend using this technique. Look up the face real quick. This man after the cut, you know, he, he he had that special feeling. He was like, man, I got to go somewhere. I got to run some errands. And that's how you want your clients to feel. You know what I mean? You want to deliver that special feeling. You want them to feel like, man, they just can't go home after this cut. You know, it gives them that energy. You know what I mean? They want to be active. They want to do somewhere. They want to be somewhere. They want to see somebody. And, uh, you know, when you can deliver that feeling that they never really get, like I said, he cuts his hair at home. So I know he's not getting that type of feeling when he cut his hair. So I'm delivering something new to him, give, giving him a fully like new transformative experience. And that's how you're going to build your clientele. That's how you're going to keep people coming back. And that's how you're going to be able to charge more eventually as you build up your demand. All right. So now I'm using the Rich Barber razor holder with the Swiss steel razor blades. And we're going to touch up that lineup. See that taper popping real nice, real clean. Hit the face. Top of the hairline. Picked up the beard. Now we're ready for the final touches. We're going to throw the sauce on them now, all right? The Enhanced Pro Barber Kit 2. Using the clear application card to keep easy application and precise. Let's clean up, follow up with the liners. Bam, you can see hairline popping. I use dark brown on him. Get that C cup right there real tight. Touch up any of his light spots. Fill in his beard a little bit transformation you know i mean it's, it's a special feeling and that's what we deliver bam there goes the final cut i appreciate y'all for watching it's chuka the barber please subscribe leave a comment see y'all next time peace